Mutually exclusive or disjoint events consist of two events that have no outcomes in common. Visually, we could create a Venn diagram. This is our sample space or set of all possible outcomes. If this is event A, then event B would have no outcomes in common. It would fall into its own distinct circle. For example, if you're blood type A, then it's impossible for you to have blood type B, A, B, or O. Each one is distinct and separate from the other. The union of two events, A and B, consists of all um, events that are in A or in B or in both. Notationally, the probability of A or B, that's our key word, is the same thing as the probability of A union B. If you have two mutually exclusive events, as in this diagram, and you want to find the probability of A union B, all you need to do is take the number in A and add on the number that are in B. If you have two events that are not mutually exclusive, then you're going to get a Venn diagram that looks something like this. If you want to think of regions in the Venn diagram, this region represents values that are only in A without being in B at the same time. This region represents values that are only in B without being in A at the same time. And this region represents values that are in A and B at the same instant. So coming back over to the definition, the union of two events, the probability of A union B, should consist of events that are in A. So that would be this circle right here. Events that are in B. And that would be this circle right here. Or events that are in both. And if you're looking at the both, that's this region right here. But the problem is when we did the A circle, this region got counted once. And when we did the B circle, it got counted a second time. So we've double counted the both region. And to undo that double count, we're going to subtract off the intersection. That way it's only being counted once. And this is your addition rule for general events A and B, events that are not mutually exclusive. Dally roping is a style of roping in which the roper throws a half hitch of rope around the saddle horn after a catch is made. The loose end of the rope is held in the roper's hand so that he or she can shorten it and or let it slip in case of emergency. Sometimes when dallying, a cowboy or girl will lose a finger because it gets caught between the rope and the saddle horn. The following table summarizes observations made on 256 ropers. We want to find the probability that a randomly selected roper is a healer, and coming into notation, that's an L, or, that means union, does not, that means it's not happening, it's a complement of this thing, have damaged fingers. And damaged fingers, in terms of notation, is a D. The first thing we need to decide is, is it possible for these two things to happen at the same time? Can you be a healer and not have damaged fingers at the same instant? And the answer to that is yes. These are general events. So we'll use the formula for general events. The formula says it's the probability of the first plus the probability of the second minus the probability of the intersection. The probability that a person is a healer is 155 out of 256. The probability that a person does not have damaged fingers is the same as 1 minus the probability that they do. So 1 minus the probability someone does have damaged fingers. That's 67 out of 256. For the last one, the probability that someone is a healer and does not have damaged fingers. So I'm looking at healers only. And out of these healers, I want to know how many do not have a damaged finger. Well, that's 88 plus 23 people out of 256. If you combine these fractions together, you'll come back with an answer of 0.83. 
Now let's find the probability that a randomly selected roper is a header or a healer. Remember, header is H, healer is L, and our keyword here is or, which means union. So the probability of a header or a healer can be written like this. Now we need to decide what formula to use, and that formula depends on whether these events are mutually exclusive or independent. Let's say that this is our steer. When we throw a rope, if we can throw the rope and catch both the horns and the feet on the same throw, then those would be general events. But we know that when we throw the rope, one person has to catch the horns and the other person has to catch the feet. That means that they're mutually exclusive. You're going for either the horns or the feet, but not for both. And when events are mutually exclusive, we add the probabilities. So this becomes the probability of being a header plus the probability of being a healer. The probability of being a header is 66 with undamaged plus 23 with damaged plus 12 with missing one or more fingers for a total of 101 headers out of 256 ropers total. The probability of being a healer is 155 out of 256 total. These values sum to 1 or 100 percent. So there's a 100 percent chance that a randomly selected roper either heads or heals. These are the works cited for this lecture.